Revenge is a full-time business here, and these Christian fighters have their hands full. Scores to settle, Muslims to kill. French and African peacekeepers are trying to stop the bloodshed, but they're outnumbered. And so an empty road marks a front line. And trapped behind it across no man's land, another Muslim community under siege, one of many here. They're desperate to escape, ready to die trying. And yet a few Muslims have found sanctuary in unexpected places. In the town of Buali, St. Peter's Parish Church has taken in over 600. Aisatu Hamadou watched her husband being hacked to death by her Christian neighbors. Her son had a lucky escape. So they cut him with a machete here. Yeah. Yeah. You okay? 22 children have been killed in the neighborhood in the past month. The church pews are filled with bewildered survivors. The man responsible for this new congregation is Father Xavier. 31 years old, new to the job, making friends fast here. But he's facing a backlash outside for preaching tolerance. When I started doing this, everyone opposed me, he says. I was attacked by the community. But in these times, men of goodwill must stand up and prove their faith. This country needs to see that Christians and Muslims share the same God. For a long time, it was Christians who felt persecuted in this country. But in recent weeks, the tables have been turned. Now, it's members of the Muslim minority who are on the run, either trying to flee the country or taking sanctuary wherever they can find it. Outside, on the streets of Buali, a taste of what awaits any Muslims caught trying to leave. A man proudly shows us the ruins of the mosque, torn down by a mob. And nearby, we run into the Christian anti-Balaka militia. All Muslims must leave this country, he says. And if they don't, then we must kill them all. Back at the church, the Muslims queue up to register for a possible evacuation plan. Others have been killed on the road trying to flee abroad. These families fear the church's protection here won't last. A bigger international intervention might have kept this country intact. Instead, it's peacekeeping on the cheap. And for these embattled Muslim communities, the bleakest future. Andrew Harding, BBC News, in the Central African Republic.